Okay, today we're going to show you how to bleed the brakes. Um, the, the way we do it at Garibaldi, there's several ways, but th this is the most efficient way. It requires three people. Uh, it requires somebody to watch the master cylinder uh, level so it does not go down to uh, empty and then air gets into the system from uh, trying to bleed it, so you're defeating your purpose. It requires somebody to apply the uh, brake pedal or a pedal pusher, and it requires somebody to open the bleeders and close them at the right time. What you need is the right wrench for the bleeders, and the bleeders are on the back of the wheel cylinders because we're going to do rear wheel cylinders. And the bleeder screw is right there. And this is where the line goes in, and this is the wrench for the bleeder. The, uh, so you need a, a the proper size wrench, and you select that ahead of time. You, you need a container that's partially filled with brake fluid. This one's got brake fluid, uh, about an inch of brake, brake fluid in it. A suitable hose, rubber hose, that will go over the brake bleeder. And that's how we store it so it doesn't drip all over the place. And you need the proper brake fluid. This one requires DOT or Department of Transport 3 brake fluid and that's what we've got here. And we verified that that's brake fluid. So we take our equipment and we get uh, the communication process going with the, 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 the student or technician that's going to watch the master cylinder and the pedal pusher. So let's bleed the brakes. Now remove the little rubber cap over the bleeder that's at the back. We can't see it here, but um, we don't really need to. Uh, the, the bleeder for the wheel cylinder will be inside like, like so, and we have to get on, on the bleeder screw because its main purpose is to get the air out of the system. We start with the furthest away from the master cylinder, the furthest uh, either wheel cylinder or disc brake bleeder, this will be a wheel cylinder bleeder, uh, away from the master cylinder. And you have to have the uh, window open or the door open so you can communicate with the uh, pedal pusher and the person that is opening and closing the bleeders is the captain of the job and you have to call clear directions to your team. So I've removed the little cap and I'm going to take my wrench and open the bleeder and I've selected this hose it's the most common one but we do have larger hoses and I'm going to push that on the back of the bleeder and it's open about two turns and I'm going to have my wrench available and I'm going to immerse this below the one inch level a brake fluid. And then I'm going to hold the hose and, and I'm going to give the directions to push the pedal six times. Okay, six times please. I can hear and feel the air coming out and that's what I'm concentrating on. But if I'm not happy I'm going to call six more. You're watching the master cylinder? Yes. And then is that six more? Okay, let the pedal re uh, remain up in the up position. And I'm going to close this bleeder. The hose in there so it doesn't drip over. And I'll close this bleeder now. Anytime a student closes the bleeder, that will eventually have to be checked by the instructor. And then I'm going to go to the other wheel cylinder on the other side. Both were changed, and we have to bleed both of them. Remove that little cap on this one. There. Now, if you get any uh, brake fluid on 
the paint, you wash it off with water immediately because it corrodes paint over time. That on the bleeder. Okay, six, uh, six times please. So I'll just request a six pedal pushing. I can feel the air coming out of this one. Now I don't feel any air at all, but I'm gonna go give it another four, just to be sure. This is, the air is, uh, this would have the least amount of air because it's closer to the master cylinder. Okay, four more times. Is that good? Yep. Okay, so uh, wait, I, I wait about three seconds in case there's any more drawback before I pull off the uh, hose and then I put the hose in the container and tighten the bleeder. Again, it's about two turns back and tighten the bleeder. Now, you don't over tighten the bleeder, but I'll, the instructor will be checking it anyway. And then I ask this question. How does the pedal feel? Good. Good. So at that point, you would get the instructor to check the bleeders, and if that's if, the, if he uh, inspects the, the job, I'll inspect the uh, uh, height of the pedal and whatnot, deem the job uh, completed, everything's checked, you then put the little caps back on. Now, after you're done, this goes away on the shelves along with the uh, brake fluid, I, uh, the person manning the master cylinder would top off the master cylinder one quarter inch from the top, put the cap on, have me check it, or the instructor check it, and then the brake fluid would also be put away. Thank you very much.